Uh, Tom Stubblebitch at it again, talking shit. Don't forget that's what got you in trouble the first time, you weasel. You're trying to make it out to seem like it was me who was talking shit. Nah, bitch, it was you who was talking shit first. One of my old teammates went into your live podcast and told you, hey, you know that guy from uh, Texas, Freddie Sanchez, you should pull him. You said, oh, I would love to destroy him. I would crush his ego. I'll fuck with his wrist like this. Look at these biceps. You just went on some roid rage. I hadn't said a goddamn thing about you ever. And so I catch wind of this after I win my super match with Miguel, and I'm thinking, the fuck? This guy has never beat anybody that I've beat or anybody that I've lost to, I mean. I've beat people that beat you. So I'm thinking, why does this guy think he's so much better? I mean, he's not. So that's when me and Greg make the video calling you out for you talking shit. We make that video because you were talking shit and then you try to deny it on the podcast. Don't make me bring up those videos again, motherfucker. You were denying it on the podcast saying, oh, it wasn't me. Oh, I wasn't talking shit. No, no. Uh, anyways, I don't want super match right now. I want tournament. You were trying to say that you only focused on tournament pulling. Okay, you wanted nothing to do with the super match. And then finally, when you feel like you couldn't deny the super match, you say, oh, well, you know what? My stipulation is uh, $1,500. Uh, if you can't come up with that money, oh, oh well. So it was you who came off like a bitch, you who was running from the match. That's cold hard facts. And then they back you up into a corner in the podcast and you finally realize, oh, I can't run from this. So you try to set up a date three weeks after mine in your hometown, Austin, Texas, of course. And I say, well, okay, you know what? My elbow's still hurting from the Miguel match. I've been saying this since day one. It's nothing new. I didn't make this injury up yesterday or a week ago when I called you. No, I've been saying that this injury has been bothering me forever now i've been telling everybody i'm saying okay well if i get better in two to three months we'll see how it goes we'll see how it feels in el paso i pulled in el paso i couldn't pull the way i wanted to i got big time pain in my elbow so you know that's finally came up with the realization that i am truly injured i'm gonna have to get an mri check it out and uh get it fixed get it repaired but once i do get it repaired i'm coming after you bitch now it's personal i'm gonna rip your arm off i'm gonna smack you across the head with it you weasel